What's up guys, day number 32 of this war of mine. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go after the military base today, the first attack on it. Let's get everybody eaten. Um, actually I should have Martin eat last, to be honest, because he doesn't need to sleep right away. Maybe Martin goes and plays some guitar. No, actually I need to see what he needs to make. He needs to make ammo, that's what he needs to make. Oh my god, what did I just build back? All right, you go to sleep. Um, ammo. I need probably I have 18 bullets. I think if I leave four, I'm okay. So I kind of need maybe four bullets. That'll let me take 20, I think, with me. That's plenty, I, I think. If I need more than 20 to do my first attack, then I'm doing something wrong. I'm pretty sure. So maybe I'll take a little bit less. I don't know. Uh, my my temperature's right around the edge, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some fuel as well. I'm just gonna max it out, why not? And then I'll, I'll let this one burn out, because it's not as cold as it was before. You go eat now. And I traded for a bunch of water, so I don't need to, uh, I don't need to make any water. I'm gonna keep trapping things. I have plenty of food, so if this this military base attack takes a couple of days, it's okay. So basically what I need to do is just take my time on it so I don't die. Um, Pavel needs to sleep because he's going to kill that military base. Alright. Oh, and I need to pick this fruit for sure. That's really important. I really could use a Kevlar vest. I'm guessing I'll get one in that base at some point. Hopefully on one of the first guards because that'll really help. Um, let's make some vegetables. This does actually take... I can make eight. Does, and it doesn't actually take more time, it looks like. I'm gonna do it then. Why not? Let's make eight vegetables. That's so much. Who's this? I don't know, is that like Katia? I don't think it is, but I, I haven't played with Katia since my first playthrough. I have no bad, in bad intentions. Alright, hold on, hold on. Maybe we'll take a fourth person. It's possible. Although I'm not sure. I think this is like a... I mean, I might die. That's the problem. So at this point, if it's a person that I can recruit, do I want another person and just send her in there? And maybe if she dies, who cares? Okay, it is Katia. She's actually not the most unuseful person. Like, she's pretty useful when you're trading. Unfortunately, I got her a little late in the game. She's a good person to start with, though. Um, I think Marco's the most important to start with, Bruno's probably the next best, and then Katia and Martin are both pretty useful. Um, what her her perk is is bargaining skills, so when you're trading, uh, you get better deals when you're trading with her. I think I'm going to go ahead and take her, because if Pavel dies, it's okay. I'll have a third person anyway. So I can play a little bit more aggressive when I take an extra person. Let's do it. Um, let's see what she needs. She's going to need something right away. Most likely. She's sick and she's very tired. Let's have her take some, not bandages, take some medicine. And then we'll have her sleep. Close the door. Okay, I actually don't need to use my snow for anything because it's actually not snowing out at all anymore. I didn't even notice that, but that's good. The, the winter actually lasted a couple of days. That's pretty good for me. Who's this? Bruno. Bruno, go practice guitar. You need help. Bruno, please. Go play guitar. Alright, so she's on meds. Go sleep. Pavel's sleeping. Martin, go listen to... Go sit in the chair and listen to Bruno. Maybe it'll make you feel better. Alright, and then we'll end the day after they start. <clears throat> He's not getting any better. Alright, end the day. Okay, so we're going to the military outpost. We're going to do it. Pavel's going. Katia has 12 slots as well, so that's a good thing. Um, we'll let her sleep. Uh, we'll let Bruno guard, I guess. Actually, no, because he's going to have to cook tomorrow. So let's let Bruno sleep, and we'll have uh, we'll have Martin guard. Pavel's going to go in. Okay, um, I'm going to take a lockpick just in case I need it. I don't have a crowbar, that's something I need to remember to craft at some point. And then we're going to take an assault rifle with a whole lot of bullets. Or 
We'll take 18 bullets. I think that four will be enough to scare off anybody that tries to come. I'll take one less. Um, and we need a knife probably just in case. Because I'm probably going to try to use the knife to kill the guy up on top. And if he ends up successfully pulling his gun on me, then I'll use my gun. But I'd rather do it stealthily so that the guy on the bottom doesn't know. And then I can trick him. And when he comes out to trade with me, I can just shoot him in the face. That's that's the idea. My people are going to be so sad about this because it's not um, it's not thugs. Like, they're going to all get depressed. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. Oh well. It's only like four people. I can I can get my people to not be super depressed, I think, out of this. It's gotta happen. It's the military. They they can they can survive. It would be better if it was if it was bandits or something, but we're doing it. It's gonna happen. Hopefully this doesn't cost me the game. Okay. Let's do this. Alright. These places are lootable again, which is weird. <clears throat> okay, so he's gonna go. We're gonna sneak up here, very, very quietly, and hope this guy does not know that I'm sneaking up here. Okay, and then just sneak right here, and I'm gonna wait for this. See, he's gonna come in. I'm gonna switch to the knife. I don't know if I wanna switch to the knife right now. I'll wait until he starts moving. As soon as he starts moving, I switch to the knife and go for it. This is intense. Right, come on, dude. Just go. I know you're going to say it. Just excuse me and then leave. Although I'm not standing there, so he might not say excuse me, but... And I have to sneak up really close to him until there's that red marker. And that, like, is a critical blow. If you get close enough and they don't detect you, you can basically kill them. There's also a guy right here, so I mean, I have to be very careful. Man, this is insane. He's not moving. I have tons of time, though. I got up here really early, so... I kind of want to switch to the knife just to see whether there's cover in case this goes badly. Okay, so there is cover right here, but they can probably see me from the ground. So if they start to come up this ladder, I have to get cover here. If they somehow hear me, if I have to use a, a gun or something, um, then I have to do that. I really want to wait until this guy walks away, though. It gives me more room to maneuver, so... I could try to sneak up and just kill him right now, but then this guy is very likely going to hear or see me. If he's over here, he might not. And even if he does, the time that it takes to run all the way up here, I can get into position. Okay, so he's going to come out. Hopefully he didn't spot me, because I spotted him. And then he's going to call this guy, hopefully. Maybe not. I will wait here and hope this guy leaves, and I'll wait until at least 2 a.m. for that to happen. Maybe 2.30, 3. If it doesn't happen, I have to just kill him, and then I don't even know what I'm going to do at that point. Because when I sneak down, it's going to be a problem. I really was hoping this would happen quicker. Huh. I don't know why they just randomly stopped talking to each other. It's very odd. But I... No, I'm not going to do that. I was going to say I could sneak up to this guy and try to shoot him from up here, but I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, gosh. This is bad. He should have already left by now. He should have went back there. I'm going to move around a bit. Maybe it can, like, trigger the AI somehow. I just don't want to be seen through this ladder spot. Okay, there he, he went. Okay, go, 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 go. Get him, get him, kill him. Do it. Yes. Get down. Switch to assault rifle. Wait for him. Right here. Yeah, there's no other spots. Wait, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh god. Nice, that was good. Oh god, back into cover. Nice. Got him. So much to loot. I don't know if I got all of them, so I'm kind of just wa watching here. That was a really good. I got slightly wounded because of it. I think it was the struggle up here that got me wounded. Just take everything. I need the ammo as well, so that's good. Wow, that was really good. They're going to be so depressed, I just killed four people in one go. I was expecting to kill, like, two, and then I could have everybody talk to each other and hopefully calm them down. But, uh, yeah, that didn't happen. 
This, the situation called for it, you know? I don't think I'm gonna go into the house much, though. Just in case there's one other person. And I don't really have a whole lot of room. I have so many guns that I have to carry. Unfortunately, I didn't get any Kevlar vests. I'll check, check this, because I have the lockpick anyway. Um, so I'll check that. I definitely need to get a crowbar tomorrow. Hopefully I remember. I do want to fill my inventory, but let's see what's in here. Oh my god. There's so much stuff in here. Let's get this bullets. This is what I traded them last time. They used one of them, used some of the tobacco. I don't need that extra. I'll take these though, it's good for trading. I'll take this. That's a really good haul. That's like so much trading potential. Katia's gonna do wonders with that. Alright, and I still have 17 bullets left after all of that. We'll definitely be coming back here again, but as long as everybody doesn't commit suicide tomorrow for killing four people, like, <laughs> that's it's pretty likely in this game. It really punishes you for killing random civilians, or in this case, the, I think, good military. So, we'll see how badly these people are broken. Pavel's gonna be the worst off. He's gonna be completely broken, I'm sure. Um, well, he said he got a really good haul, like he's, he seems to be okay and happy about it. Maybe it's not gonna be bad. Okay, we were raided. We used four bullets, and we did not get stolen or hurt, which is really good. I brought back three assault rifles, a pistol, four canned food, three medicine, two meat. I brought back my knife. Some really good trading potential here. So I managed to kill off almost everybody and maybe completely everyone. Like I got a really good spot where they all just kept, kept like running through the same door. Like it was probably the worst military I think I've ever seen in my life. Like it was just terrible. But they all ended up dying. Tomorrow we're going to go back and loot as much as we possibly can. I will probably have to bring a weapon just in case. But uh, overall, pretty good haul. I was really hoping for a Kevlar vest, but I didn't end up finding one. Either way, start off on day, I think it's 33 tomorrow, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.